So let's talk about isothermal and adiabatic processes. Now, as we have discussed, isothermal process. When the you have for an ideal gas equation, PV is constant. That is, PV was equal to mu R T. Now, since the temperature for this system is constant, so the right hand side of the equation as a whole becomes a constant. So PV equals to constant. Therefore, we know if a work is done, if a work is done, this will be because of P into del B, P into del B because of the change in volume or change in pressure. Now, say suppose a work is being done and because of this work, your volume, your volume changes and if your volume changes, then there will be a change in pressure. So, we are taking a variable of volume. This system is in thermal equilibrium. So, if this is in thermal equilibrium, that is, the temperature is constant, then the work that has been done, if we say that work has been done, so force into displacement. So, if there is a displacement that is being made, now work was equal to force into displacement. So, work will only be done when there will be a displacement. So, if there is a displacement in the system, that means the volume has changed. That means the volume has changed and therefore, we write del V. So now, W equals to P dot del V. Now, say, let del V tends to zero. Say, suppose there is a small change in del V for a small work done that is dW. So our equation becomes dW is equal to P dot dV. For small change in dv a small work has been done now if i sum up if i integrate this whole left hand side and right hand side now this volume has changed from v initial to v final so the total work done is actually equal to w equals to p into look over here dv from V initial to V final. Now, what is P? P is also a variable, but this can be converted. You know PV equals to mu RT. So, P is nothing but mu RT by V. In this way, we can relate P. So, substituting the value of P, we have, let's see what happens. Therefore, W is equal to mu rt is a constant which is equal to dv upon v v initial and v final so initially our equation was supposed to be dw equals to p dot dv now the value of p i have substituted from my ideal gas equation this is ideal gas equation So if you look over here, this is mu RT, since this is a constant, so mu RT goes out. What remains is dV upon V. So while solving, that is amount of work done W is actually equal to mu RT, the temperature is constant, into ln, that is log E. ln is also equal to log to base E. In short, we are writing this as ln. ln V final minus V initial. So this is the work done in an isothermal system, isothermal. So let's look at some other processes also. Now we are talking about adiabatic processes. Now the derivation for adiabatic process or the equation was P V to the power gamma is equal to constant. So the process or the derivation of this formula is beyond your syllabus. Beyond. So you can use this as an equation but if you 
want to see the complete derivation, please look at our previous extra class videos that we have made. So coming back, we know this is constant. Therefore, what is actually gamma? It's a small letter gamma. So gamma is nothing but specific heat at constant pressure divided by specific heat at constant volume. This is your gamma. This is what you can understand by gamma. Thus, if an ideal gas, see suppose our ideal gas undergoes a change in its state adiabatically. Now, the initial state was P1 V1 and the final state is P2 V2. So, by equation we have P1 V1 gamma is equal to P2 V2 gamma. So, now we have a graph. We have a graph and this is a very important graph. Please keep in mind this is a very important graph. So, let's draw this with a different color in a proper manner. And let's understand the graph. This is your pressure, the y-axis is your pressure P and the x-axis is your volume V. So when you talk about a isothermal, a isothermal process, then accordingly you have a graph of this kind. Now this is isothermal and this is also isothermal. Now this is an adiabatic process and this is also an adiabatic process. So this is the gra graph that you have. This both are isothermal. Isothermal. This are adiabatic. Adiabatic process. Similarly, this is also adiabatic process. Adiabatic process. Now let's understand what does this graph points or tells us. This is a first we know that this is a PV curve of an ideal gas for two adiabatic process connecting two isotherms. So if this is one isotherm and this is another isotherm. These two are connected by the two adiabatic process where PV to the power gamma is equal to constant. So we can calculate as before the work done in an adiabatic change. So what is the work done in an adiabatic change? Now the work done was actually equal to W is actually equal to V initial by V final into PDV. This is what we have which is actually equal to now we know v is equal to v to the power gamma where gamma is equal to this value so by using this equation say suppose this is 1 and this is 2 so by using 1 and 2 and applying in 3 what we have is constant we will have a constant term into v initial minor v initial to v final dv upon v gamma dv upon v gamma initially what we had was w as if you look at our previous slide we had this now a constant term will be applied and this constant term is nothing but mu r t this is nothing but mu r t so we are taking this to be constant so w was p dot dv and p was expressed as mu r t upon v gamma so this is v gamma so dv upon v gamma further calculating we have constant term into v minus gamma plus 1 divided by if this is gamma divided by 1 minus gamma since this is gamma to the power if this is v 1 by v to the power gamma so what we can do is v to the power minus gamma we can express this as v to the power minus gamma and applying integration we have constant into v to the power gamma minus 1 divided by 1 minus gamma where 
it integrates from v initial to v final so finally you have you have constant term into 1 minus gamma which is equal to 1 by v final gamma gamma minus 1 minus 1 by v initial gamma minus 1 this is a equation that we have so now what is v2 if you ask me what is v final and what is v initial so by using the above equation this equation p1 v1 to the power gamma equals to p2 v2 to the power gamma we have or we can derive another equation and that equation is look over here very closely therefore the final work w is actually equal to this comes over here we are using this v finally this is v final this is v initial so p final into v final is equal to p initial into v initial so you can apply this so if you apply this you have w equals to 1 by 1 minus gamma this is constant this is constant what is this constant constant can be brought over here this constant term can be brought over that is this constant is known as p1 v1 gamma p1 v1 gamma and this for this constant term if it's getting multiplied this is p2 v2 gamma or p final v final gamma is equal to p initial v initial to the power gamma so constant term this is a constant term and this is also equal to a constant term and this is also equal to constant term so in place of here we will write p final v final to the power gamma equals to v final to the power gamma minus 1 minus p initial v initial to the power gamma divided by v initial to the power gamma minus 1 so this is what we have now if you arrange this if you arrange this v to the power gamma minus 1 if i take this in the upper part it will be p final into v final gamma into v to the power minus gamma into v to the power final now if i write this over here say suppose i am bringing v to the power v final to the power gamma minus 1 above so this becomes 1 by 1 minus gamma is actually equal to p final into v final into gamma into v final into minus gamma plus 1 so gamma into v to the power minus gamma this becomes gamma minus gamma so this becomes 0 so all that we are left is with p final into v final all that we are left is with p final into v final this is what we are left with so let's do it in the next slide so 1 by 1 minus gamma is actually equal to p final v final minus p initial v initial sorry this is initial now if you look over here p v equals to n r t we can say p v equals to n r t so all we can do is in place of p final v final in place of p initial v initial we can take temperature t1 and we can take for p final v final we can take temperature final for p initial v initial we can take temperature initial so substituting this in PIVF and PIVI we have 1 by 1 minus gamma is actually equal to NRT initial minus NR sorry NRT final minus NRT initial so 1 by 1 minus gamma is nothing but NRT final minus T initial so this is what we have the work done by our adiabatic process 
that is this is my adiabatic process now as expected work is done by the gas in an adiabatic process where work done is greater than zero since we know that work done is greater than zero then we know that t2 is less than t1 that is t final is less than t initial why is this so because now if you look at the graph if you look at the graph it's going down the work is going down so there is a decrease in energy and since no now you can see that since no external energy is supplied to the system now please keep in mind and listen to the this lecture very very carefully since no external energy has been supplied to the system so work is done by using the energy of the system so if our energy is being used by the system then temperature goes down therefore t final is less than t initial and this is how we can prove it